Here at Plant Gang, I'm standing under this beautiful tree, Gymnoclitus diochia, the Kentucky coffee tree, uh, and it has uh, beautiful compound leaves on it uh, that really are a great texture in the garden. Uh, this is a great native plant uh, that definitely should be one that you know. So we got a close-up of the bark, and look at the beautiful patterns that are in this bark, almost like waves in a river or uh, ocean waves running through this, uh, sticking out and kind of rippling away from the stem, uh, which makes this one of its greatest ID characteristics, uh, but also one of the reasons why it's so beautiful in the landscape. So if you look closely at the scientific name of this plant, the specific epithet actually suggests, and it's true, that this plant is dioecious, meaning that they're separate, and, separate male and female plants. Uh, the flowers of the males and the females are different. Uh, the ones that are probably the showiest are the female flowers, which are in 12-inch long panicles. And then those female flowers, uh, which are fragrant, uh, once they're fertilized, they give, and give way to these flattened reddish brown pods, which ripe, wa ripen in the fall, maybe like October, that persist into winter. And so in the wintertime, you'll actually see this uh, completely uh, covered, the female plants, uh, with these dark brownish uh, pods. Uh, now this really is where the common name of this Kentucky coffee tree comes from uh, Native Americans and early American settlers, especially in the Kentucky Territory, roasted and ground these seeds to make, we'll call it a coffee-like beverage, but with no caffeine. There's no caffeine in that beverage, and so that's where that common name comes from. Uh, Native Americans also roasted the seed uh, for food, but the seeds are toxic uh, before they're roasted. So if you were to eat one uh, right off the tree, that would actually be toxic. Uh, so this is a plant that is gaining a little bit more popularity again, a great native plant. It's being used uh, in streetscapes. It's being used in commercial uh, settings as well. I love it in groups and in masses uh, where you can create a grove of Kentucky coffee trees, which just bring beautiful texture to the landscape. So the Kentucky coffee tree gets uh, 60 to 80 foot high and can spread out 40 to 55 foot wide. Uh, but that would be a very large Kentucky coffee tree. A lot of times I actually think about them as a little bit smaller tree than that. Hardy from zones three through eight. Uh, they bloom in the early spring and then in the fall is when you get the pots. Here's a landscape tip. This is a good landscape tree for large lawns and park settings. Male trees are generally considered more desirable because of the lack of seed pots. However, mature female trees with hanging seed pods can be very attractive.